For 9-5, and we are going to be creating a little bit more complicated figures, but neither one of these will have us drawing hidden views or hidden lines. So, as always, make sure you tape your paper down after you've lined it up with your T-square. Okay, and this one is a little bit more difficult to visualize, but just think about if you took this object and you looked at it straight on, what would you see? And they're giving you hints with the shaded in area. So I need to grab the right pencil, my 5H pencil, and I'm going to transfer my height information over. Okay, now we see from the hidden lines where it starts and stops, and these are also height dimensions. So you are going to transfer that information to the front view as well. With my top view, I'm going to transfer down all my vertical lines, which are my width information. Okay, and then we're going to analyze what this thing is going to look like. There we go. So, looking at my front view, I see this U shape right here. Okay, these are all going to be object lines, and I'm going to start with drawing that. As you're figuring it out, darken in the lines. It saves you some time later on, but it also keeps you from saying, where did I put that? Where is that line? Okay, with the U shape, I see that it comes all the way down to that bottom line. So that's how far I'm going to bring that down. Uh oh, I got a wiggle there. Okay, so I need to clean that up. It's better to do it right when it happens than waiting till the very end sometimes because it'll be easy for us to forget what we did. Okay. I'm gonna go in one more time. There we go. I feel like there's there's something under my paper. Okay. So I've got the U shape and now there's this little rectangle. I want to point out this little bit right here. There is a height that incline doesn't come all the way up to the top. So that incline, if I just connect this line from one spot to the next, I've created my rectangle and my U. So with this object on the bottom half, I'm going to move my camera. There we go. Um, you can see it looks kind of like a race car, okay? It has wheels on both ends and it's got the really long nose. But the problem is with the isometric, people forget about this back piece because they can't see it. But it doesn't mean it doesn't exist, okay? Well, why don't I see it in the front view, Mrs. Early? Because these two blocks are the same size. When it comes to line dominance, the object line, the visible line, is the one that takes precedent. Okay, you're not going to draw your hidden line inside or outside because that wouldn't be the correct location. So if you have a fight between an object line and a hidden line, the object line is going to win. That is the one that you show. So the first thing I'm going to do, grab the correct pencil, my 5H, and I'm going to translate all of my height information Oh, look at this. The top of that block is slightly lower than the top platform here. Okay, that's an important one to keep track of. Okay. Now I need to create my 45 degree angle. So I need to find the top right corner of my front view.
and all of my depth information will be brought over. Hopefully by this time, you're starting to really understand how I am finding certain measurements, how I am finding certain shapes, and how I'm transferring information from one location to another. Okay, it's, it's important that we learn why the drawings turn out the way they do and how we get them that way. Okay. So I've dropped all those lines down and I'm gonna look at my piece. I'm gonna see a small rectangle here. And since it's the same on the other side, there'll be a small rectangle over there. Okay. I'm looking and seeing a slightly taller rectangle in the middle and an even taller rectangle on the side. I mean, in the middle on the top. So I'm gonna do something a little interesting. I'm gonna do it the way my brain is seeing this. I'm going to start with all of my vertical lines. Okay, It helps that the middle segment is the same thickness throughout, otherwise I could really mess myself up with this. Okay, I did one, two, which happens to be the same line that goes all the way down, three, and then four, which is that point. It's touching the base all the way across. Then the shorter ones only come up until they hit that middle piece. The slightly taller one is only in the middle. And then the top of it is only in the middle. And very quickly, just like that, you've completed assignment 9-5.